Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I was just thinking, um, well, you know, for me, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 sucks. Sucks ass any goddamn way. And the animation is, is, is trash as well. <laughs> Excuse me. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if Yu-Gi-Oh! You, you know, went back to Yu-Gi and his friends, right? But... I want them to adapt two two things. Um, one is from is from a video game, and the other one is a manga. And I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So of course, you guys, if you guys remember, um, after the Battle City and Millennium World ended, and Yu-Gi-Oh GX manga was starting, there was um, Yu-Gi-Oh R, and it was a little five five. Um, <sighs> It was like a little five five volume book or whatever and stuff like that. And I and I thought it was really I thought it was a really cool um manga, right? So of course, you know, this story picks up after Battle City, actually. So this is like pseudo waking the dragons, if you kinda think about it. So basically Yu-Gi-Oh! R takes place following the yu gi Moto's victory in the Battle City tournament. Um Yako Tima, the um, um, prodigy and adoptive son of Maximilian Pegasus, decides to avenge Pegasus' um, defeat at the hands of Yugi, believing him responsible for Pegasus' alleged death. Because, you know, at the end, Pegasus kind of loses his eye or whatever. And some people think that he's dead. Some people think that he's not. So, it is what it is. Um, after taking over Kaiba Corps, while Seto Kaiba was in the United States, Tima kidnaps um, Taya prompting Yugi and his friends to face Tima RA Project and dual um uh, and dual professors. Seto Kaiba and his brother um Mokuba also come to the scene to rescue the comp um the company. And this also deal with the Wicked God cards. So they're basically dark reflections of the Egyptian God cards. So you have the um Wicked Dread um Dread Root, Wicked Avatar and what was the other one? Oh Lord have mercy. Wicked, wicked something. Jesus Christ. Oh, how am I drawing a blank when I just got, when I just had the darn name of the thing? Oh, that bothers my spirit. That bothers my spirit. <laughs> wicked Dread Root, wicked, wicked Eraser, and Wicked Avatar. Yep. Those are the three. Those are definitely the three. And I think that would be kind of cool. I kind of would want to see it see it adapted. Um you can even retweak it if you if you really want to. Um because I mean you got Pegasus Sons who um because of course there's a twin Euro um Tamaka who's also, you know, kind of controlled by his brother to do his bidding or whatever and stuff like that. And, of course, you have him having to um, fight Yugi about the whole thing. And then one of the brothers join Yugi and his and his friends or whatever. So you kind of can do something like that. And it, it, it could be a little it can be a little mini series or whatever. Or you can tweak it, expand it just a little bit more onto the whole thing or whatever and stuff like that. Make it a little arc. I was thinking, like, Let's retweak Yu-Gi-Oh! R. And what happens is, since Yami Yugi is gone from the picture or whatever, this will be focused on Yugi and his friends, but only, you know, Yugi, like, the the Pharaohs are not there. So there's no Pharaoh coming at the last minute. The only time Pharaoh might make an appearance if Yugi, you know, subconsciously, you know, pep himself up by talking to the Pharaoh. Other than that, no Pharaoh at all. And stuff like that, and it can pick up right after the Dark Side of the Dimensions duel, um, you know, movie, and just kind of tweak it, tweak it a little bit, and then bam, do the story, change a few things here or there, and I think you got something going on because at the end, Taya does leave to go to school in in um in America, and Kaiba was building Kaiba Land too in America. So you got two of the characters already there. And, you know, with the stakes of, you know, hey, not knowing that Tay is there. Like for instance, Yugi and his Yugi Joey and um 
Tristan with maybe Duke Devlin. They all go to America to visit Taya to see how everything's going and stuff like that. You know, come find out she's missing or whatever and stuff like that. And, you know, you can have you can have both the brothers kind of doing evil things or um, something like that. So you have somebody, you know, taking over Kaiba Corporation over in Japan. And then you have Taya and maybe Mokuba or whoever, uh, somebody that can get Kaiba to join the team or whatever in America. Tweak it a little bit here. You can duel the person over in America realizing that the real Taya and the other guy is over in Japan, which that means Yugi, Kaiba, and the rest of the gang have to go over to Japan to fight, you know, Yuka, um, Yuta um, Tenma with the Wicked Gods also, you know, creating havoc in, um, havoc in Domino City and these dual, dual professors and stuff like that. Instead of having it all, uh, you can have, you can have some outside of Kaiba Corp and then you can have some in Kaiba Corp. But make sure the the facility kind of been changed around, so not even Kaiba recognized what they've done to his building or whatever stuff like that. You know, just a little tweak here or there and something like that. That way you can kind of have the pin ultimate duel. You know, of course you have Kaiba. You have you can. What I would do is I wouldn't even have Kaiba and them. Ugh, I wouldn't have Kaiba and them um, duel separately against the uh, against. The main villain, um, Yako. What I would do is have it like the darts duel um, with, with Waking the Dragons, and have Kaiba and Yugi team up together to defeat him. And of course, you know Kaiba will will would lose, but he'll protect Yugi in the end and stuff like that. And then Yugi will you know get the strength to pull on. You know, um, thinking about Teo, thinking about his friends, thinking about what Kaiba done. Thinking about what um, a Tim would do in these kind of situations and then draw some kind of brand new card or whatever. And with all these new cards for the past Yu-Gi-Oh characters, it would make total sense. It would definitely make total sense. So I think that's something that they should do. Um, and I would be down for it. I, I think they do need to do an anim animated uh, uh, adaptation. Uh, adaptation of some classic Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I think it's time for Yu-Gi-Oh and his friends to actually make like a permanent comeback, if that makes sense. And of course, the next one is Reshef of Destruction. So in Japan, it's also known as Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters 8, the great evil god of destruction. And of course, it's the sequel to the um the Battle City. So it's again, it's, an, it's a, it, if you guys play Sacred Cards, Sacred Cards were, was literally the Battle City saga, but instead of like how, instead of, well, it is the Battle City saga, but with you in the story. You know what I mean? So basically, basically the story picks up where somewhere, sometime after the Battle City and before the Millennium World, um, Yugi, Yugi and Joey, along with the player, but take the player out there, you know... They're going to a duelist competition that, that the city's hosting or whatever and stuff like that. And they go on this, they go on, they go um to this duel express tournament. And of course, things happen. Uh, monsters start appearing. Of course, you guys know that the real reason why is because the Millennium Puzzle um has disappeared along with Yami Yugi. So in this game, this is a lot of time where Yugi doesn't have Yami Yugi at all. Um, so when the story continues, Yugi and Joey travels to the player, um, travel with the player as they leave the house. Taya is waiting at the clock tower square and is shocked by the bad news, but also it gets worse. A Shiju appears recording that all the Millennium items have disappeared and asks, um, asks them to help them or whatever. And to resurrect them, they need, um, they need the Egyptian god cards, but they have turned into stone. And in order to do this, the um, Millennium items have to be retrieved in order to revive the Egyptian god cards. So you, can, you see what I'm saying? So basically, you have this whole adventure where Magic done happened. The Millennium Puzzles and the Millennium Items are are all around the world right now. 
Yugi and his friends have to get it in order to um to revive the Egyptian god cards to stop Reshef of of the destruction. And what I'm saying is you can kind of tweak that a little bit or whatever and stuff like that because this can take again can take place right after you see how that can be another arc for Yugi and his friends or whatever and stuff like that where Shiju come and be like um the 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 stone tablets that we thought or whatever and stuff like that the uh, millennium items one day appeared at in the family tomb or whatever thinking that hey you know we're we're done like this could be one of those things where with an exception you can bring back yami yugi just kind of for this or whatever so what happened is where chef uh of the um dark destruction i'm gonna spoil it you know he kind of he kind of pos they possess pegasus or whatever but he called himself something different in the game or whatever and stuff like that um basically has the ability to go inside of the spirit world and he he takes the the spirit the pe the, the pharaoh the spirit of the pharaoh and other people and seal them in the millennium items and scatters them across the world so you can you can his friends have to retrieve the millennium items but of course there are there there are other people that also want the millennium items as well because the chef wants to destroy destroy the world or whatever and stuff like that and in order to do so he needs the millennium items and he needs the egyptian god cards but he needs them to be revived so in order to revive them you need to you need to do dual or whatever create dual energy and the dual energy creates a um a cavus crack within the the um the fabric of time i guess this can create havoc for the real to release Reshef of the destruction like he's there but he can't be released yet until we get everything or whatever, which prompts Yugi and them to step up their game because they have to get the Millennium Items back. But also the problem is the Millennium Items are also now possessing other, you know, random people. But also you have the team that was hired through a chef and um, the possessed um, Maximilian Pegasus to stop whoever has the millennium items and bring the millennium items back so you know you can kind of have this this kind of three-way kind of duel but also dealing with this tournament that's also happening at the same time so you have a tournament that that y'all that yugi and his friends entered they have to they doing the tournament but at the same time you have to deal with these factions going on and then, of course, you know, you have the ultimate climax where you have Yugi, um, Yugi, Joey, and Kaiba. Um, I would say they go into a three-way duel against the possessed Pegasus with Reshef of the Dark Being or whatever, stuff like that. And then they have this big old epic duel. You know what I'm saying? I think that could work. I'm just, I know I'm spitballing a little bit of ideas right now, but... I, I'm just, after watching Sevens, I'm just like, Jesus Christ, just bring back the regular Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, when you've seen a, a, a sequel to a series that's been going on for a long time, and you just like, if you guys really want to, you know, hold on to this IP, just bring back the characters that we love. <sighs> Excuse me. Especially characters that are really the face of the franchise. Bring them back. And bring back the old art style at least, you know what I'm saying? But I I know I know this is kind of random because it isn't it is a Yu-Gi-Oh topic. It is another random video that that I do on my channel. But I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it was it was in my it was in my brain. It was my thought. I had to let it had to let you guys know. But like I said, if any of you guys played Reshef um Reshef the Destruction video game which is uh, a good game and it's even harder than sacred cards oh man if you lose and you didn't save you have to start all the way over and they barely let you save in that game so it was it's crazy but it's, it's a good game it's it's a good game and if you guys should check out Yu-Gi-Oh R check out Reshef of Destruction like you can go on YouTube and literally watch the video game so you can get the story or somebody breaks the story down for you guys. And I'm quite sure you can go to bookstores or you go on Amazon and you can probably order the whole the whole book. Um, the whole five volumes. It's not that long. Ago. It's pretty cool. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.